we're going to convert base 10 to a base 2. So this is a base 10. So you could write a 10 down there. You can also tell it's not a base 2 because base 2 is only going to have zeros and 1s. Now I cheated and put the right answer on the board right here. Normally you can't do that. I'm going to do that just to check. So let's cover that up and check it at the very end. Okay, so we need base 2 powers of 2. There's a few ways to do it. Uh, I'll write this horizontal. And you always want to go uh, right to left, not left to right. So we have 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1st, 2 squared, 2 cubed, 2 to the 4th, 2 to the 5th, 2 to the 6th, 2 to the 7th, 2 to the 8th. Now how far should I go? That's a very good question. Now let's start writing these down. Anything to the 0 power is 1. 2 to the 1st is itself 2. 2 squared, 2 times 2 is 4. 2 cubed, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. There's also an easy way. You just keep doubling as you go over. So 8 doubled is 16. You're just multiplying by 2 every time you move over. Powers of 2 aren't so bad. 16 doubles to 32. I have been using base 2 for a long time, so these are quite easy for me. If they're not easy, just go to your calculator, and you can do 2 times 2 is 4 times 2, times 2, I'm just doing times 2 equals, times 2 equals, times 2 equals, etc, etc, etc. So as far as you want to go, 128, 256, 5, 12, 10, 24, 2 to the 11th is 20, 48. We're going to stop here. How do I know? because that number is bigger than that number, so I cannot have any 2 to the 11ths in this number. That would be too big. So we do not have any of these. Let's just go ahead and get that. Well, we'll leave that there. Okay, so here we go. How many 2 to the 10s live in this number? Now, the quick answer to any of these questions are either 0 of them or 1 of them, because we're in base 2. You can't have 2 of them. So just looking 1024, there's one 1024 in this number. We're going to take 1024 out by subtracting. A 0 minus 2 is impossible, but 60 minus 2 is 58. Or you can carry digits. Uh, 1 minus 1 is 0. Okay, so we have one of these in the number. Now we're going to go to the next smaller. How many 512s are in that number? Well, there's going to be 1, because the number is bigger than 512. So let's take that 512 out. So we're left with 71, so we're going to have one of those. All right, so how many 256s is in this number? None. That number is too small to have a 256 in there, so there's definitely none. How many 128s? None. The number is too small. So again, zero. All right, how many 64s? Ah, there's going to be one. So let's go ahead and take that 64 out. So we'll take it out. Now to subtract 6, we get 7 here. Um, I forget the borrowing method. But anyways, you can also subtract on your calculator if this is tough. Uh, so we get 7 of these left. So we got one 64 in there. 7 left, so we have no 32s, no 16s. Again, we only have 7 left. We have no 8s. Here's something you could do more quickly at the end. I want to make a 7. I can tell there's a 4. Can you do the rest of this in your head? I need a 2. Add those two together it gives me a 6. I also need one more to hit 7. So I have all three 4, 2, and 1 to make 7. You can, of course, keep subtracting. And you stop when you have 0, meaning you've pulled out every single power of 2 to get the entire value of the original. This 
is the binary representation that I'm going to write as my base 2. All right, so here we go. Looks like we got lucky. All right, nice job. Okay, hopefully this will help you convert from 10 to base 2.